Hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome to Do for Beginners. Today in this session we are going to cover up a most powerful and confusing feature of Udo that is the routes, rules. In the rules itself, the pull and push rules. First of all, what's the route is? Route is nothing but the one path that moves the product from one location to another location and because of that rules my product movement is done this rules are always confusing for beginners when we have to use pull when we have to use the push but using this video the concept will be clear and using that you can create any route from your sys by the scratch also okay because when we need to configure the routes the rules configuration is important and in this session those all concept will be clear okay so if i will jump to the rules this is my rules here if i am creating the rules here you can see that pull from push to pull and push manufacture and buy this five rules are here manufacture and buy we have idea that will be used in the manufacturing part but when we have to use pull from and when we have to use that push to so let's go to that difference let's jump to the database and step by step cover up that all differences first is pull from pull from basic meaning is that if we need that product go and get it from any locations means if any demand generated for that product we have to get that product from anywhere just give me one example just giving the example if the sell order will be confirmed delivery will be created so demand is generated at the customer side so product will be fetched from stock location to customer location so at the time pull from will be used now manufacturing order will be confirmed picking will be generated so of course demand of that products will be created so here we have to pull those raw material from raw material stock to production third if the purchase order is confirmed again the demand is generated at our warehouse we are pulling the components from vendor to our warehouse location so these are simple and short that pull from if we need product then we have to get it from any locations this is on the demand based generations like sales order confirmation manufacturing order confirmations and purchase order confirmation then what is push to push to is nothing but it's a simple meaning is that if the products arrive at locations push to the another locations it is used when we want to do the automatic transfers of product from one location to another location giving one more example we have the two step receipt three step receipts in that what happens from the vendor itself product will be arrive at input location but what we want we want that my products will be automatically transfer from input to quality locations so of course push to will be used quality to stock location of course push to will be used so this is quite simple that my push to is not demand driven my pull from is demand driven and my push to is used for automatic transfers of product now this will be quite clear to make those differentiation that when we have to use pull from and when we have to use to push to okay now here let's configure one route and everything will be clear that when we have to use which rule and when it will be required okay now what the use case is that use case is that we are going to deliver the products to my customers and that products is going to return at our locations at our owners here i am not going to use that concept of repair and return i am just configuring one route from the scratch so it will be clear for you guys that how we can create the route from the scratch okay so now components are going getting return from our customs now what we want when the products are returns at our return locations it will not directly go to the stock what happens after receiving that products it will that that quality of that return product will be checked after checking that quality it will be goes forwarded to repair location and then it will be back to stock my locations okay so this how we can configure it using the route so i am going to create my route that is my first is return to repair return to repair new route okay this route i have created okay but now of course how this route will be work by creating that rules so here we have to create the rules 
but step number one that if we want to create the rules most important thing is that we have to create the operation types okay so we have to create that operation types so for that i'm just going to create the operation but before that we have to create the locations i have already created that my written location written quality locations again repair locations also now what i'm going to do i'm creating that operation types this when it is will be written okay so here the thing is that if the product will be arrive at written location it will be forwarded to written quality location so here operation type will be written to written quality location here it will be internal transfers it will be from written to written quality this is my first operation type now second when it will be reached to written quality the quality of that product will be checked and it will be forwarded to my repair location so again one more operation type will be written quality to repair this will be my again internal transfer which will be from written quality to repair after repairing the stock repairing that product it will be stock forwarded to my stock location so again one more will be there it's regarding with that stock so here you can see that repair to stock again it will be internal transfers and source and destination location is there so step number 1 is created that we have to create the operation type first now second that we have to link that operation type to with my rules itself so now let me jump to my configuration and routes which is my written written to repair new now here what we have to do here my action number 1 and just giving the rules name 1 action is pull from or push to now we are confused here what we have to do we have to push the products from return to return quality okay of course this is my automatic transfer so here we have to use the push to my return to return to return quality okay so now here this is link i have linking is that now just let me save it now again if it will be reach to return quality it will be transferred to repair location again it will be automatic transfer so what we have to use again we have to use that push to and what is my return quality to repair okay now think is that just let me close it and third one which will be again that my push to which is written okay repair to stock okay and this all is here and just let me save it and now okay now this route we want to apply for the products for product category packaging or whereas let me apply on the product itself okay now these things are clear i'm going to create one product for now okay <coughs> the product name is my mm, testing product okay this will be track inventory on okay now just let me increase the on hand stock okay for the ws stock it will be a 100 quantity okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to make a sales order for that but let me apply that route this is very important okay return to repair new i'm just going to apply okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to create the sales order for that customer is my dps my product is testing testing product okay that is let's consider we have 10 okay now confirm it delivery will be there we have validated now thing is that that customer is going to return this product okay return is that now we want one and return but now we are not going to return at the stock location which is my return location okay now just we are going to validate it now based on that here you can see that next transfer is automatically created based on that route configuration which will be move my product from return to return quality here okay here you can see that return to return quality location just i am going to validate that again you can see that the next transfer is automatically created which will be move that product from return quality to repair that return quality to repair and if i'm going to validate and then again with the next transfer with repair to stop so now based on that route the products will be transfer automatically this is one example but more example is that that here if we have that two step receipt three step receipt and four step receipt who do will provide that one two step one step or three step okay so among them one we can one use but if we want to use that two step and four step then modifications of routes also we can change it you can try from your side this use case and let me know if you have any queries for that okay so this is the simple differentiation between push and pull rules